and they're off here. What a great start by Dushos Ishekiri. Running on the outside. He's probably happy with his lane selection. There's no need for those really tough corners, tight corners. Ishekiri, the first to pass the baton, gets it over to Storm Zablocki, one of the most aptly named athletes of this competition. He charges towards the front. Marcus Penaloza Abanqua of Guelph trying to get around him somehow. Alberta also trying on the inside. It's going to be Zablocki passing it to Logan Fettis, who we've seen in the combined events earlier. But Craig Thorne, our hurdles champion, 777 runner, looking to overtake him. That's tough to do. Craig Thorne having to swing wide on the outside. Now we have two runners going next to each other. And oh, this is tight here. Regina nails that exchange. And Franklin in the lead here with just 100 meters to go. Teal from Guelph trying to go around. But Regina looking strong, trying to maintain that lead. And Teal is failing. This will be completed by Regina. Franklin takes them home. Ishekari to Zablocki, to the combined events athlete Fetis, and then to Franklin. What a run. And the Regina Cougars take the gold medal in the men's 4x200. Bushirashe Ishikiri kicking them off. A solid first leg by him. Pass to Zablocki. And they will claim that gold medal for the men's 4x200 in a time of 127.74. Astrid, you had your hands on your head. Was this Husky cheering for the Griffins? Let's be honest here. <laughs> that was an amazing run by these men. Now, do we have a, an official time? Once. 127.74 and the Gulf Griffins were a favorite coming in for that gold medal but they will settle for the silver medal at the championships the bronze medal will actually come from the first section 